Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Hoskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 uh, video. But this one's going to be the game changer, because if this works, if what I perceived in the last video is relevant and working in private servers, public servers, then this is going to be a game changer. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me kind of show you. All right, so everybody kind of knows about the half circle thingy over here, right? And you know that you can get in there with the, the blueprint glitch and the, a truck, um, stuff like that. A lot of people ask, Code, what is this? What is it? And they, they theorize like, oh, it's the boat shop. It's this, it's that, it's the other. I don't know. I couldn't tell you what it was originally intended for. But what I can tell you is we may have a new method of getting in there. So let's do a turn, rotate. And I'm going to try and place this on my head. Rotate. <laughs> and try and place this on my head. Come on, come on. Uh oh. I might be stuck. I may be stuck. Oh no, no, I'm not I'm not stuck. Watch this. Oh, oh. Uh oh. I may be stuck. <laughs> Alright, and rotate. Oh, Come on. Oh, <laughs> almost. Come on, right on top of the head. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's try, let's try from, no, I can't do it from this direction. It has to turn that way, doesn't it? Oh man. Ha <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so, um, you have a way of getting in and out of places that you're not supposed to technically be able to get into. But you have to, you have to get it just right on the character. Or it doesn't work. So, we can go back to exploring uh, secret areas that... Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> There's a couple more areas I wanted to try. I'll be right back. Oh, you know what? You've always wanted to see underneath here, right? So, let's see. It should be... should be here somewhere. Hold on. Let's hit B. Um, escape. We need to do shift lock. Right? Okay. So we're gonna have to be over there a little bit. We can't be right here. So just past the, uh, this thing. So right about here. I can't see below, but we're, we're gonna shoot for it. Here we go. Oh wait, I gotta take off the shift lock again. So take off shift lock and let's get a smooth wall. And let's see, how does this turn? So if I place it on my head, I should go underground. Oh, oh. Whoa! <laughs> do a backflip! <laughs> or wait, is it do a barrel roll? Okay, right there. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, try over here. This might be this might be too thick for me to try and get down below. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, oh, can I can I do it while I'm on the ground? So if I do that and then do this and then I do that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's not really working. <laughs> okay. Um so one thing I can do is over here, there used to be a hole under uh, in the ground. And a lot of people speculated, oh, it's uh, it's this, that, and the other. And a lot of people did some trolls. It was for the winter um, event, okay? So there's a drop-off point next to the cabin. You know what, I'll show it to you in a second. Here, watch. 
Dun, 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 dun. A lot of you might be like, Code, are you tired? Yes, I'm very tired. I got the Ring Fit Adventure, Ring Adventure Fit. And I did it tonight, and I'm tired. I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> oh, I can't go underground. Ground might be too thick. Or I'm just, I'm in the wrong spot. Maybe, maybe. How about here? So it doesn't work so well with, uh, with turn. Ooh, what if I'm on top of, uh, here? Let's see if I can get down inside the ceiling and see the purple thingies. Huh? Huh? Oh, that didn't work. All right, try. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Come Oh, no! Okay, let's hit B. Did I knock these down? Yeah, I did. Oh, well. There we go. All right. So the purple ball things are right in here. So let's try... Let's try right here. No, I don't need that one. I need the um, smooth wall. There we go. And it doesn't have to be the smooth wall. It can be any one of the walls. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, not working, not working, not working. Hmm. Mm, probably because it's a solid piece and the balls are inside the uh, thing. Ooh, these are collision. <laughs> okay, okay, enough messing around, code. Enough messing around. Let's go to the lighthouse. All right, it's taken a really long time for me to actually get over there because I had to uh, go back and get some actual TNT because apparently my glitches, like it worked for the first couple of rocks, but couldn't get the rest of them. It was just in a weird position, so. Actually had to use TNT to come into the uh, the winter biome, but we're almost there. And just so you all don't think I, I'd like exploited or did something weird to get up here, here's my skills again. Going up, up, up and away. <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, I forgot to say it, skills! This part is always so sketchy, scary. I mean, it's not as bad as the other part, but it's still pretty bad. There we go. <laughs> That's a double part right there, Defaultio. I don't know, like, would there be a way to, like, maybe push that down just a slight bit or something? You got clipping going on there. All right. I'm just, I'm complaining. That's all. No, no need. No need to message me. All right, there we go. I think that is that. Now, can I drive... Grab my truck down there, right? Yeah, why not? Wee! Dang it! Dang it! My truck done flipped over. All right, hold on. Am I still recording? Yeah, I am. All right, come on, get over there. Get up, get in the driver's seat, please. Thank you. All right, rotate and turn. No, nope, that's the wrong way. Rotate, rotate and turn. Boom. And we, oh, wait, I can do this. Check this out. Oh. I should be able to turn on my lights and they'll glow to the extreme. I rock a mic like a vandal. Mm -hmm. uh, can I drive this in there? Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I burped. I burped right into the microphone like a professional. All right. Can we drive this in there? I don't think it's... Oh, oh! Yeah, it's, it's not going to fit. Maybe if I had a smaller car, maybe? Maybe? But, I mean, if you, if you can get a car up there, up the, the little ramps, that seems uh, a little too easy. Too, it's too easy. Too easy. Okay. What was I doing down here? Oh, lighthouse. That's right. Okay, so... Uh, here was my thought. It's actually a lot brighter down here than I thought it was going to be. Usually it's like a lot darker. Anyhow. Alright, so I want to get up there. Boink, boink. Uh, boink, boink, boink. And get right next to the door. And then we're going to do the glitch thingy. 
Alright, uh, I need to do a turn. Oh, rotate turn. Okay. Oh wow, it's not... Okay, here we go. Ready? What was that? It was a tree. It was a tree. Dead tree fallen. That's what it was. Come on, it's not... Why is it not... It's not attaching to me. Oh, okay. Maybe it did. Maybe I can do it down here. I'm doing rotate, but it looks like a turn. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Maybe, maybe right here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know if that's solid or not. Okay, can I do it right here though? That's that's the question. Come on, come on. Ugh, I can't quite see what it's doing on me. Okay, hold on. Can I can I face this upward? Turn it around backwards like that. There we go. Try that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Why was it so easy earlier to like get it to land on me? Just get in the thing. <sighs> Please, please, I gave them a promise that I would show them the amazingness. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, maybe I can come in from the side. Hmm, the only thing I could think of is this is a solid object and there's, there's nothing on the inside. Possible? Is that is that a possibility? Hold on. Let's try up here. Is there is there a way in if I drop in there? Hmm. There's not. Hmm. Hmm. Where? What if I what if I rotate right here? I wall glitch that one little part right there. Hold on. Let's see if I can wall glitch this. I cannot. It's because it's at a slight angle. Hmm. Well, trip wasted. Actually, anything with discovery and trying to figure things out, it's never a waste. Never. Um... Okay, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, there we go. Okay, so on the Lumber Tycoon 2 page on Roblox, there's a new coming soon. It was the Canadian goose, the Canadian standing goose, feeding goose or something like that. Um, Jack covered this earlier and it, it, it's new, but we don't know what it is yet. So we're gonna keep looking, we'll figure it out. Okay, are we ready to uh, head on back? There was, there was another area I wanted to try. So, let's go back, and I'll, I'll find the other area. All right, here we go. Eee! Eee! Skills. <laughs> no, skills would have been keeping it inside the chart code. Yeah, you're right. 
Oh my goodness. Uh, this video is taking longer than I expected. Um, we're already at 15 minutes, which was the normal time that I, I've been running lumber. But let's go. And just so you know, we've only got like one episode left of Spookies. Unless something weird happens, and then we'll have to go figure that out too. But after that series, I've got uh, I've got an open slot, so All right, here we go. Oof! Big boom! Big. <laughs> So here is the Shrine of Sight. And I am going to go beyond the wall. Now, I'll give you a hint. And this goes for programmers, exploiters, whatever you want, uh, regular, legit users. Um, you have to have the 22 and the 23 box, and they have to be clicked. Um, no, is it the 12 and the 13 box? And they have to be clicked 23 and 26 times 24. I don't know. Look on the wiki and you'll find the uh, exact answer. But you have to drop a box in here and drop a box in there. And then the server side script will load in what's behind here and open the door. A lot of people have been asking me, Code, is the Squidward painting gone? No, it's not, but it's hidden on the server side of things. So you have to get the big present, you have to open it up, it has to have a certain number of, it has to have a certain number on it and you have to click it a certain amount of times. Um, for those of you that didn't know what the puzzle was, spoiler alert, you might skip ahead about two minutes, okay? Here comes the explanation. Every time that you clicked it, clicked one of the boxes, it would change color. Well, that color coordinated to a pixel on a piece of pixel art for Defaultio's face. And each one of the quadrants, or each one of the sections, was the box. Each one of the pixels was when you clicked it. And when you got to boxes 12 and 13, they were right on his eyes. And if you clicked them 26, 25, 23 times, it would turn gray, which were two little dots inside his, uh, his portrait. And that's what led you to the back of here. Now, when I try and glitch through here, it's going to be nothing on the, the back side. I can tell you that right now because I've been back there before without uh, using the things. Oh, there we go. Without using the boxes. So, rotate, turn. All right, here we go. Let's try this. That's not gonna work. Okay, hold on. Let's move this back some, just a little bit. All right. Uh-oh. Ooh. Gotta be right on top of my head. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was kind of cool. All right. So. This is the largest one that I've got, right? So. I think it's at an angle that I'm just not going to be able to get to. Like, normally I can get it on top of my head, but it's like, it's glitching out really bad right over here. Hold on, Hold on. maybe I don't understand this glitch. Oh, 
Oh, psh, I don't want to place it, silly. <laughs> so it works if it's balanced on my head, but in order to get it to work like this, I've got to get it just right. And I think it keeps glitching out by trying to touch the... Uh... All right, what if I turn it? Oh. So I think the the light pink one is when it's attached to me. The dark red is when it's attached to something else. Oh, and it's not... It's not gonna let me in. Alright, what about here? Ooh, oh, it skipped me right over. Hmm. Well, code, it doesn't work. So let's try and glitch through like this. A little old-fashioned, but still works. All right, so, as you can see, oh, wait a second, where am I? Okay, there we go. I'm like, wait, where am I? <laughs> oh no, is that lava? It's lava down there, no! And it's lava above me. Lava above me, lava below me. Well, shoot. Hmm. Oh, oh, I don't need to hit escape. I need to go to Roblox scene. Roblox scene. Roblox game filters. So here's night vision. What is that? Oh, it's a particle. Okay, so those particles are coming off of the, uh, the law of uh, above me. And if I zoom out, oh wait, what's this? Oh, wait a second. I didn't have an edge before. What? Hold on. If there's an edge, there's a way to get back in. Or get stuck. <laughs> Oh, get wrecked, Code. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much, and I'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.